Elon Musk's company SpaceX has been working for years on making it possible to connect to the internet via satellite. This technology, which is better known as Starlink, has already been used to send a lot of satellites into space. At the moment, there are about 2,200 Starlink satellites in orbit. These satellites connect about 32 countries to the internet. But this will change over time because SpaceX has just made a new satellite that is better than the old one. This new version of the Starlink satellite is so advanced that it even surprised China, which now feels threatened. But what can this new satellite do that the old one couldn't? Today, we'll look at what this next-generation Starlink satellite can do and why it has shocked China. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. This really changes the game. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, recently gave the first technical details about the company's Starlink Gen 2 satellite design. He then confirmed that it would be much better in almost every way than the satellites we now have. Musk told YouTuber Tim Dodd from The Everyday Astronaut all this during an on-site interview and tour of Starbase. Musk, who didn't seem to be bothered by the question, said that SpaceX had already built a working prototype of a Starlink Gen 2 version 2.0 satellite. But for now, the South Texas Starship factory is where this new satellite is being kept. Musk also shared information he learned firsthand about how the next generation satellite would work. He said that each Starlink version 2.0 satellite is about 7 meters long and weighs about 1.25 tons. Musk even said it would be almost a thousand times better than the Starlink 1 satellites, which is a good way to say they are better. SpaceX updated their plans for the next generation Starlink satellite about 10 months ago. They plan to launch about 30,000 of these satellites into orbit. With the information Elon Musk gave, a few important rumors about Starlink's future have been confirmed. SpaceX might improve the design of the new Starlink version 2.0 satellite so that they can get the most out of how well Starship launches. They did the same with the Falcon 9 in August 2021. In an updated Starlink Gen 2 filing, SpaceX said that they would design a version of the Constellation so that the Starship could take off with an entire orbital plane on board. This means they could send up one ring of evenly spaced satellites around the Earth. Only about 500 of the 30,000 spacecraft would be placed in planes of 11 or 120 satellites of this new constellation. This could mean that SpaceX plans to launch about 1,110 or 120 satellites with each Starship launch. Taking into account Musk's most recent optimistic Starship performance, which said that 150 tons could be launched into low Earth orbit, or LEO, we can assume that one of the Starlink version 2.0 satellites would weigh about 1,250 kilograms. Now that we know each Starlink version 2.0 satellite will weigh about 1,250 kilograms, how does it compare to the older versions? The Starlink version 1 and the version 1.5 satellites weighed about 260 and 310 kilograms, respectively. This means that the Starlink version 2.0 satellites are about four times heavier than the version 1.5 satellite and about five times heavier than the version 1 satellite. Musk also said that the version 2.0 satellites would be almost 10 times better than Starlink 1. He didn't talk about the ability in terms of bandwidth or thought put, which is how people usually talk about how well a communication satellite works. The total bandwidth of Starlink version 1.0 is about 18 gigabytes per second. It needs to be clarified, though, if Starlink version 1.5, which was a significant improvement, also added more bandwidth. It also needs to be clarified if Musk was talking about the most recent version of the Starlink version 1, but even if he was comparing the version 2.0 to the earliest version 1 satellites, it is estimated that each Starlink version 2.0 will add up to around 140 to 160 gigabytes of the 30,000 satellite constellation. Even with all of that, numbers aren't needed to show how important the details Musk gave are. If what Musk said is true, the Starlink version 2.0 could have twice as much usable bandwidth as the version 1 in the same amount of satellite mass. Since Starship could also get to LEO about 10 times faster than the Falcon 9, a single launch could, in theory, add about 20 times more capacity to the network than the Falcon 9. If the FCC gave SpaceX a license, SpaceX would have to launch half of the Constellation within six years. This means they would have to launch 130 Starships, or about 22 per year. 
For Starship to be able to do all of those launches, SpaceX would have to move quickly through the launches of the biggest rockets ever made. They also have to ensure that they have more successes than failures or setbacks. Although SpaceX plans to launch a constellation of 30,000 Starlink V2.0 satellites spread evenly around the world, Chinese military researchers are looking for ways to make sure they can destroy the Starlink network at any time. Why would they need to do this, though? Could they be worried about Starlink being able to connect to the Internet? Chinese military researchers say they need to find a way to disable or destroy SpaceX's Starlink satellites if they ever pose a threat to the country's national security. They are making plans to build anti-satellite technology, which will include a surveillance system with a scale and sensitivity that has never been seen before and can track and watch every Starlink satellite. A study was led by Ren Yuan Zhen, a researcher at the Beijing Institute of Tracking and Telecommunications, which is part of the PLA's strategic support force. This was shown in a paper that came out last month. Several senior scientists in China's defense industry wrote parts of this paper with other people. The paper, which was published in a domestic, peer-reviewed journal, Modern Defense Technology, said, A combination of soft and hard kill methods should be used to make some Starlink satellites lose their functions and destroy the operating systems of the constellation. Starlink has become the most ambitious project ever to use satellites to send and receive messages. It gives businesses and the military worldwide access to broadband internet. Because of this, the Chinese have become very fond of Elon Musk. They say that he is an example of how to be creative. Musk and his companies got a lot of bad press last year when two Starlink satellites came dangerously close to the Chinese space station. According to Ren, with the help of a Starlink connection, U.S. military drones and stealth fighter jets could send information 100 times faster. Not too long ago, SpaceX signed a contract with the U.S. Defense Department to help them develop new technology based on the Starlink's platform. This included some sensitive instruments that can find and track hypersonic weapons traveling at five times the speed of sound or even faster in the Earth's atmosphere. Ion thrusters are also on the Starlink satellites. This will give them the ability to quickly change their orbit so they can attack high-value space targets. Starlink is considered unbreakable because it has more than 2,300 satellites in orbit and more are still being added. The system can still work even if some of the satellites are lost or disconnected. Because Starlink is so big, complicated, and flexible, the Chinese military has to make a new way to stop satellites from working. For example, it might be possible to launch some Starlink satellites with military payload and commercial satellites. This was just a suggestion, though. Because of this, the Chinese military had to improve its space surveillance system so that it could get a clear picture of these small satellites and experts could look for strange things on them. China has already made a lot of ground-based laser imaging devices that can take photos of satellites in orbit with a resolution of a few millimeters. In addition to optical and radar imaging, the country would also need to be able to intercept signals from each Starlink satellite. China is very worried about the Starlink constellation because it is making so much progress. The safety of their country is their main concern, and they will do anything to keep themselves safe. But do they really need to feel scared? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for sticking around until the end. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.